Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about linking and attaching some of the basic tools in iClone. So uh, first of all, let's get started with linking. So to get into linking, I'm going to go uh, add a prop into my scene. We'll go up to our set tab up here into props, into my 3D blocks folder, and I'm just going to double click on this ball 001 to add it to my scene. So we have this ball in our scene right now. What I want to do is I want to link something to this ball. So I'm going to actually go into our set and I'm going to add a uh, spring element here. Uh, we need to go down to our uh, spring stuff, uh, spring down here in the same props folder. And let's just go ahead and double click on the antenna. Now you can't see this antenna 01 right now, but if I go to my scene manager, you can see, there we go, we have antenna 01. So all we need to do is with it selected, we can just bring our gizmo up like this and there's our antenna and I'll press the R hotkey so we can uh, scale bring up our scale gizmo and let's scale that up a little bit just to make it a little bit larger like something like that looks fine and then let's bring it closer to the sphere so it's linked uh, so it looks like it's attached to the sphere there we go so we'll bring it up to that point it looks like a little jack-in-the-box head or something like that Okay, so let's get started on the linking. Now I want to emphasize here that generally you use linking for animation. Attaching is when you want to uh, keep things permanently attached or save them as props. So for linking, we're going to talk about animation. So let's animate our sphere right here. Uh, I'm just going to go down to frame 100. Uh, I'm going to enter in frame 100 in the frame field down here. And you can see we advanced up to frame 100. And let's take our sphere and bring it somewhere over here. And then let's just go ahead and play that back. There you go. We have uh, animation of the sphere from one point to the other. But what if we want to bring this uh, antenna along with the sphere? Well, that's quite easy to do with linking. Let's just select the antenna right here into our modify panel on the right. We have a section down here called linkage, as you can see right here. We have the option to pick parent. And that basically means you're going to attach it to a parent object. So let's select pick parent and I'm going to select my sphere. All right, so you can see it selects right there. And then in the link field, we have ball 001. Now I can unlink this, which we'll talk about in just a moment, but let's go ahead and press play. And now you can see we have the uh, spring uh, antenna attaching to the ball. So you can see we have that nice kind of spring effect. The momentum is kind of going back and forth like that. And that's your basic linking. So let's try to animate this link. Let's detach it. So I'm going to press F3, go into my timeline here. Let's bring the timeline a little bit further down, maybe uh, shorten it a little bit as well. And you can see we have all these keyframes right here. Uh, don't worry about those. Those are just keyframes that have to do with the spring effects, which we can talk about in a separate tutorial. So all you need to remember is that we need to go into our constraints track in the antenna. So make sure you have your antenna selected. If you don't have it selected, just uh, select this object related track and you can select it. And let's go to antenna and let's go to constraints. Now there are three different types of constraints. We can uh, twirl this down and check them out. We have the look at constraint, the path constraint, and the link constraint. In this tutorial, we're talking about the link constraint. And if I hold my alt key and I scroll my mouse button down a little bit, we can zoom out and you can see that for eternity, basically we have this antenna linked to a sphere. And you can see this line that goes on right here. Let's go to frame 100. We can just enter in frame 100 right here. And say at frame 100, we wanted to detach this antenna and we wanted to keep it in this location. So to do that, we can just uh, go up here and select detach, or we can just right click uh, anywhere on our link uh, on the current frame and select unlink at frame 100. Or we can also go here and select unlink up here. But I just right clicked from my uh, timeline. So now you can see we can go up to frame 100 and everything will stay there. So let's take our sphere and you can see the transform keyframe at frame 100 there. Let's go to current frame 200 down here a little bit further and let's move this uh, sphere back to its original position. So to do that we can just go up here to our transform uh, track right here, our transform section and enter 0 in the X field and that'll bring it back to the original position since we only moved it along this red X axis. Now a little tip here, anything in your modify panel that is green, that has green text, these can be animated. So link can be animated, look at, you can see move, rotate, scale, they can all be animated. Anything with green text like visibility and whatnot, they can all be animated. However, attach, which you can see right here, cannot be animated. So let's see what we just did. Let's go, let's press stop here, go back to frame one, and let's play back. 
So now we have that antenna just staying where it was before. And if we select the antenna, you can see that uh, down here we have it, uh, you know, um, the, the uh, link has detached. Uh, there's a keyframe right here. But say, for example, we want to attach it again somewhere down here, maybe at frame 150, half, half of the way down. So let's go to frame 150. And then let's go ahead and, uh, again, do the same thing. Go up to the linkage uh, section right here and select pick parent and pick that same object. Now we can pick another object or that same object. And then you can see our link continues right here. And we have this gap where nothing is linked and then it stops there. But here it'll continue on with that sphere. So that's a really uh, good example of linking. And that's basically how you do uh, basic linking. There's really not much more to it. You can link to any objects. But again, just I wanted to emphasize that linking is used generally for animations, uh, whereas attachment is used for saving props, which we'll do right now. So let's close down our timeline. Let's just go ahead and start a new project. And we'll go to our content tab. And this time I'm going to go into my props, uh, 3D blocks right here. And we have a wall and floor folder. Everyone has this in iClone 6, so you can follow along. And let's just go ahead and add in this wall 002. So let's just double click on that, add it to our scene. And you can see we have this beautiful wall, but we're kind of missing something here. We need a door uh, to be part of this wall. So we can just simply double, double click this, uh, double select, double click this door 001, and that'll fit right into uh, place right there because these are pre-made to fit uh, snugly with each other. So currently, if we go to our scene tab over here, we have wall 002, which is this item, and our door 001. Now, if we press the E hotkey, I can bring up my rotation gizmo, and I can rotate my door like this. We can have our door open and closed just like that. Let's press Control Z to undo that. But say, for example, I've spent a lot of time constructing a house with many of these, uh, many of these doors. What I would want to do is I, I would want to save the, this door together with this wall. Uh, say, for example, I wanted to save it, and I can import it in again as one single object. Then I would want to attach my door to my wall. So let's select my door and let's select attach. Uh, we can also use the I hotkey to go down to the attach section over here. And I'll just select with our door selected again, pick parent, similar to the linkage and pick the wall. And what happens you can see over here in the scene manager, our door now becomes a sub prop of the wall. However, we can still animate it just like we always did before because it is just a sub prop. So I'll press Control Z and undo that again. Now, we have the option here to select our wall. And when we select our wall, you can see down here in the attach section, we have the option to merge subprop. Now, if you don't want to move this door independently, if you just want to have them together as a single object, then you can go ahead and merge the subprop. But at this point here, we will not be able to independently rotate that door any longer because we've merged it as a, as a one single prop. So let's just press Control Z and undo that. And now you can see we have the door option, so we can select the door and rotate that individually. But let's go ahead and save this entire thing. So it's, I'm gonna to go to my content tab here. Make sure I select the parent object, which is the uh, wall. And let's go to our custom folder right here into custom props. And let's just call this, uh, let's use this plus to add a prop to our custom folder. And let's call this uh, awesome wall with door. I don't know. I <laughs> probably want to sh shorten it from that, but uh, there's our awesome wall with door. Now what we can do is we can import that in together as a single prop. So let's just import it in over here. And you can see we have now this, uh, if we go to our scene manager right here, now we have wall 002 with parentheses, uh, with zero in parentheses here. And we just have that same door that is a sub prop and we can move this door as well. And then if we wanted to like, you know, construct our, uh, our house, what we can do is just press control P, go into our preferences, or we can just simply press control M, snap to model, you know, uh, we can just select our wall and use the W hotkey to move it and it'll snap into place with the other wall snap just like that. All right. So there we have our seamless wall with two separate doors, which we can, you know, rotate open like that and go over here and do the same thing. And that's pretty much all there is to attaching. And you, of course you can detach and attach. Uh, I already showed you merge sub prop. So attaching is fairly simple, but uh, just the main difference here is that you use linking to do animation with, uh, you know, attaching and detaching objects at different points in the timeline, but attaching is permanent. So keep that in mind. 
and you also use attaching to save props. So that will conclude this tutorial. Uh, again, thank you everybody for watching. If you have any questions about uh, iClone and how to use it, uh, you can check out our help files. We also have a friendly community in our forums at forum.reillusion.com. And you can also email me at developer at So I'll see you in the next iClone Basics tutorial.